bonds to sound and lets it out. With any technique that they have, they bring in their lifestyle from outside and they bring it into the playground, what's in front of them. Our playground is the circle, all right? Something that's not really, let's say, planned. The music kind of takes you on a journey and moves you to practice. You begin to do them in a different way and you begin to kind of hit points and corners and edges where you usually don't do that. Where the music tells you to go, you go. And where it doesn't tell you to go, you make a new path and people begin to feel these notes with music around you. And when you express yourself honestly like that and you have control of that with no control, but you understand about style, finesse, flash, how you talk to people, um, how you um, how you dress, how you put your hat, how you put your glasses, everything. When you understand about having class, anything you do becomes funky. And anything you do becomes a natural way of doing it. Your form naturally is there, even with a broken form. If that makes sense to people. When this comes out, who got the flavor? doesn't mean just a breaking video and somebody breaking good. It means that somebody expressed themselves freely and then they got the chance to be promoted on that video. You know, never lose that essence. Those that are watching the Who, can, who, who Got the Flavor videos, those that watch it, do not just watch those videos. Watch everything around you. Don't just watch the breaking because Who Got the Flavor represents a lifestyle, represents everybody around us, okay? Represents everything. The way you drink a beer, the way you smoke a cigarette, the way you chill, you put it into your dance.